I'd like to have, uh, this might be Scotland, uh, uh, but a lot of them are Yorkshire. I'd like to have a, a suitable soundtrack. Obviously my mum is in a lot of photos too, and my dad, slides, sorry, and my dad did very few. Oh well, that's um, a open day at Kent College, uh, Canterbury obviously. Yep, that's a classic. Um, I don't know where this is, but I'm guessing Yorkshire. I could have used a white um, sheet. I could have used, so, brothers. I could have used, um, could have cleaned the lens more than I did. I think Haven White, no, Robin Hood's Bay. Looking over to Ravenscar in Yorkshire. So, not brilliant quality. There must be another way to reproduce these photos and get them on a YouTube film um, such that they are of decent quality. So I'll think about how to do that or maybe you can advise me. There's a parrot in the foreground. We're on the moors. I really appreciated how my elder brother at my dad's funeral spoke of um, how grateful he was for being taken around the Yorkshire moors as a child. And he has a better memory of that than me being six years older. It meant more to him, but it was a very significant contact with wildness and nature, the like of which the children don't get these days, it appears to me. We were marched uh, up a hill uh, and down again many a time. And um, yeah, it wasn't necessarily all just playing in the wild, which is, which is a wonderful thing to do. But there was a lot of wildness, and I'm very grateful for that. This, I think, however, again, is uh, Scotland. I remember a tower by Loch Lomond. Um, so I suspect that's at the bottom of that. But of course, there were many towers, there were many castles. But I'm glad the hero is to the fore. There's still a parrot. This really isn't the best selection, but it's got a it's got a sense of time about it, and this is how ah oh, that's backwards, so I've obviously done something wrong, and that could be America and well, that's definitely not the u k ah uh, if I'm one year old, that's America that's pretty bound to be America and that's the car we traveled 500 miles a day across 26 states of the uh, USA over to uh, University of Berkeley California where my dad was a guest lecturer um, Wells Fargo type um, oh Yosemite or another of the big national parks Yellowstone um, I like, loved the observation car because um, the other time we went I was six so I remember the other time more than this time when I was one I don't remember this at all but I do remember observation car from age six. Oh, we may be in Amer America there with me age six now back to age one in America age one in America I nearly crawled off the edge of the ship the SS Bremen that we took to New York to go to America that time. Or the States, as we might call it. Now that's London, isn't it? Um, everyone knows that on the embankment north side um, of the Thames. There's me in the observation car being observed. So we've probably got 20 more to go at most. Dad appears in this slide. So m my um, next brother up, I'm not giving them names, which might seem odd to you, but in a way they haven't consented to being named and found in the world. 
So, um, yeah, my next brother would have taken this photo. And I have a lot of strong memory of these things with springs on. They still exist, don't they, in playgrounds. Oh, I wonder who that is standing by the car. Very strange, but interesting. F-A-L-C-O-N. It was a falcon. I don't know that from any American movies. Again, I've got it the wrong way around. Oh, not in a good mood there. Cool, going through the tree. Ford. It looks like it's a Ford falcon. Who took that photo? I don't know. But that's Dad smiling, uh, looking out of the car. I don't think you'll get a good shot, a good view of it. I've had that one, or one very similar. Uh, cacti. Little baby still blonde. Little baby still blonde. So, um, little baby is still blonde. I could say that a lot, couldn't I? Yeah, well, lots of observation cars, not just one in the train. You see four in a row. Again, the wrong way around. But it says Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater in backwards letters, which might give me a giveaway as to one of my brother's names. Well. 939 Castle, China Castle, yeah. um, Chinatown in some part of America. Hey, here he comes. Whoa, that takes you back to the Westerns, doesn't it? Oh, looks like we're at the end. No? Yeah, we're back at the beginning. So, you have been watching. Thank you.